All right, so how I do this is Rob, right? Yes. Okay, Rob. Um, how I do this, this thing is all set up and working right now, like I stayed the night in. Okay. So air conditioning's on, water heater's hot, there's water in the fresh tank, we can kick the pump on, we can do anything you want to see. Okay. No one leaves here saying, Cody <laughs> didn't show me what I wanted, right? okay? I will show you anything. Don't awesome. leave here not getting what you want, okay? Um, what I like to do, Rob, we're going to walk around the outside. Okay. I, I talk about everything. Sweet. Okay? We just pass it by, I talk about it. Um, awesome. We'll do, when we're happy with the outside, we'll jump inside. Um, we'll finish up generally much less than an hour. This is super simple camper, right. so it shouldn't take us long. It'll end up being probably longer to wait for my delivery guy and all that type of shit more than likely. Yeah. You know? Now, I don't have to be here to wait for the delivery guy. You yet. do not. As okay. long as he knows where he's going and Travis yeah. had all the directions for him and all that stuff, it shouldn't okay. be a big deal. You should be able to just bail. I'll get him hooked up and he'll go as soon as he can. So, okay. Yeah. Um, we don't open till nine, so generally they're here at nine. So hopefully right. it, you know, it won't take too long. You know? Sounds good. Um, and let's see, and I do cover everything. I'll teach you how to park and level it. Not that it's going to matter because you're having it delivered today, but I do teach you how to winterize this thing too. So I'll, okay. I'll be teaching you everything. Um, so let's just I don't think she's going to have to worry too much about winterizing it for a while. She lives in California. Oh, is, <laughs> is it going all the way out to California then? Eventually. Uh, yeah, it'll be going out there in... Uh, uh, right after Halloween. Oh, shit. A couple so, weeks after yeah, Halloween. Yeah, she probably will not have to worry about it. I'll give you a rundown on it so it's on video here. Right. And just in case you guys ever needed to. Obviously, yeah. all the shit I tell you, Rob, is on the internet. Yeah. Like you, jump, <laughs> you jump on YouTube, all the right, shit I do. you can I find do, a video for exactly, everything yeah, on there. Exactly, yeah. No, I'll be shit out of luck when they figure out you can just watch <laughs> a video. You don't need my ass. Hell, I, that's how I learn a lot of songs from my band. Oh, I'm, hell yeah. Oh, no, YouTube I'm with you. YouTube that shit, you can figure yeah. out how to play it. I YouTube everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I so, do auto body and boat So you ever too. misplace this video or anything, uh -huh. just jump on YouTube. It's, right? all, it's all there. And I joke with everybody, these aren't fucking rockets. You're not going yeah. to the moon. It's, sim <laughs> it's simple shit, you know. Um, so let's get started then, Rob. Okay. Uh, it won't take us too long. Um, let's just talk about all of our A-frame stuff here. So you guys only have one 20-pound tank. Uh -huh. So there's no changeover or anything. So that's easy enough. You guys start doing like some traveling and stuff, I'd carry another tank with you. Yeah, that's uh, what we were figuring. Yeah, yeah. Um, batteries, so brand new Deep Cycle 24s in these. They are wet, flooded batteries. Um, so the, the main way these are charged, so plugged into a vehicle seven way and that vehicle is running, putting a charge to it. Oh, okay. okay. Plugged into that 30 amp service that it has, putting a charge to it. Sweet. Not plugged into anything, <laughs> not okay. charging, okay? So if it's just parked, sitting, you know, you don't want the battery to drain down, there's a battery disconnect key back here. Okay. Just turn that key and pop it out. Nothing will drain down the battery that way. Um, let's keep moving around. Here's a spot for some supplemental solar. They look like little briefcases you can buy. Yeah, my question was, what was the, what's the best, like, brand or... You can buy any of them. Any you of know, them about I'm, the I'm same? I'm a cheap ass, so for me, I'd go to Harbor Freight and just get a cheap one. Oh, I didn't you think know? about Harbor Freight. We were looking yeah. at eBay. Oh, yeah, I, I would, about Harbor I'd do Freight. Harbor Freight or something. Just check out what they got. Um, you know, obviously, the higher rated ones are going to give it a little more juice, you know. Um, I haven't used them enough to be like, I know this brand's badass. Right. I, I don't play that game. Um, so good luck with all that. <laughs> now, will the battery last overnight if oh, it's yeah. not hooked up? Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, the main thing on this, you know, right now the battery's brand new. Right. So you will get, you'll get some time with it. You, the main thing that right now is draining batteries, they're putting 12 volt refrigerators in. Mm -hmm. So your refrigerator is running purely off that battery. Right. So that does limit you. Before, when those ran off of propane, you'd have, you know, few extra days now right. now it's like oh shit that refrigerator is running the whole time so just don't get caught up in like oh, i think i'll be good yeah. and then you're fucking. i not. could put a dual battery system oh absolutely okay. yeah put a second battery put a second battery get you a good solar panel you'd be all right you know <laughs> um i just never want to stand here and be like i know it's gonna last this long <laughs> right. you know i'm not you never happy. know what a battery oh, fuck, no. <laughs> well and even when you got solar and shit I can't tell you how long. You know, right. I don't know if you're going to be in some shade for a part of a day. You know, it's all it's all about the sun. So play around with it. Um, they'll last longer than you realize most of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, you do have a little jack handle in here that'll do your stabilizer jacks. Okay. Um, nothing crazy through here. You know what to do with tires. Check your tire pressure. Check your lug nuts. All that shit. Yeah. Awnings. My main thing I tell newbies: if you're not enjoying the shade under it, do not have it out. They get tore off by the wind oh, yeah. all the damn time. It's a simple button. <laughs> Push the button. Right. It'll come in. So that's my big warning on that. If you guys had like a uh, maybe a light rain and it was bellying out and you wanted to drain it off, 
the sticker on each of these, just pitch it over. Oh, okay. Drain off the one side that way. Nice. Uh, some 110 outlets. This little beer fridge, that is plugged into a 110 outlet. So okay. it's only working if you're plugged into that 30 amp service. So gotcha. No going down the road keeping beer. <laughs> Uh, bumper caps pop out. You can slide a sewer hose in there. Did oh, not nice. come with a sewer hose. You have no accessories with this. Yeah, that's the other thing. We're going to be we've been filling up our Amazon wish yeah, list oh, of what all we need to, to get. <laughs> you'll, you'll find the better prices doing that that way. Full size spares, no donuts. This little outdoor shower is like a three foot hose on it, mm -hmm. hot and cold, nothing crazy. Oh, nice, yeah, hot too. Um, I'll come back to black tank flush. I'll talk to you about your shit tank, and then I'll come back to that. Okay. Prep for a camera. So if you guys ever want to spend some money, um, it's prepped for the Fury on brand camera. Okay. Um, you can install it easily though. It's literally like four little screws. There's like a plug in back there. You plug the camera in. Yeah. It comes with a screen and all that. Now stuff, a, so. Those are the Bluetooth ones, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. Bluetooth yeah. to yeah. the car. Yeah. No, they're super simple. Um, this is cable in. So if you're running the run cable through a TV or a satellite or whatever. Um, all right, the shitty part. All right, so black handle is your shit tank. Gray is everything else. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you, I take this part pretty seriously. I deal with a lot of trade ins and other people's shit, and I don't like it, so I want people to treat their tanks right. Okay? Right. <laughs> um, so, four things I insist on you guys doing if you're going to shit in your toilet, okay? RV toilet paper is the only toilet paper that goes down that toilet. Uh, invest in a little enzyme treatment. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of like Red X Receptic at home, they make little pods. Right. Yeah. Every time you dump, throw another pod in there, run some water. It's helping everything break down. Uh, number three, don't be shy on water. If you take a shit, you want to flush a ton of water afterwards. Oh, you want your solids sloshing around in a bunch of water. This is gravity fit. You pull that handle, it'll all rush out with that water. Gotcha. If you don't use enough water, we call it the brown pyramid. You just start building a tower of shit in there. So lots of water, more than you think, okay? Don't be shy. Um, then the last thing, I'll show you the monitor panel inside. All the tanks are monitored. Empty, one third, two thirds, and full. Don't oh, let yeah. a black tank get full. That's 30 something gallons of shit and piss Ooh. this far from where you're sitting. <laughs> right. it's, too much. it's too much, you know? So two thirds is your limit. Most two, three day camping trip, you'll never get close to that. Right. So, um, but do all those things, you're gonna be set up. Um, you do have that black tank flush. That sounds like it's some really amazing fucking thing. It's not, okay? That's why I teach this stuff first because that is not a miracle spray. Right. It's not going to spray out every angle of that thing and clear sensors. It just kind of rinses the bottom of that tank out. So it's much more important to do the right things as you're shitting in your toilet and not really worry about that. You know, flush your tank a few times a year or something. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. But um, do the right stuff. That, that's going to be more important. Um, one last thing I hear a lot of people get misinformation on. If you're at a campground or wherever you guys are at and you have like a dump spot close to you and your sewer hose is hooked up, still got to keep these closed okay okay you can't just keep them open because you're hooked up all right um you're going to build that shit tower every time because water is just going to rush right out ah, that just, yeah mm -hmm. yeah and you could easily every time you flush turn on a sink you could get back smell from the sewer so keep these closed use the monitor panel okay, okay. easy peasy um these low point drains it's a hot and cold line they're two caps um whenever i talk about winterization i'll refer to these that's okay. pretty much the only time i really mess with them um water heater I do insist, Rob, that you feel this gold part up here. It won't burn you, but it's nice and hot. Yeah. Okay? So this is your water heater. Standard six-gallon water heater, propane heat only. Okay? So I I actually have the switch on right now. We don't see flame because it got up to temperature and it kicks itself off. Okay. Until you run a little bit of water, then it kicks itself back on. Okay? So automatic ignition. You don't need to be out here lighting pilot lights or anything like oh, that. Oh, nice. um, My main thing that I tell everyone with lighting on propane on the water heater. They try three times to light themselves. So if you flip the switch, you walk out here, you hear that quick little click, 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 trying to fire up. For the most part, this thing's so small, it'll probably fire up first or second try. But if it doesn't, you know, you hear that series of clicks, in between the series of clicks is damn near a minute. So a lot of people get impatient. Oh. They're like, oh shit, it's already broken, you know? <laughs> no, wait until you hear more clicks. If you hear all three series of clicks, which will take probably four to five minutes, um, and it still didn't light, just start the process over. Go turn the switch off. I usually light my cooktop inside, get some propane built closer, mm -hmm. and then try it again. It's gonna fire up for you. Okay. Chances are in this though, again, it's so close to here, it'll fire up first try, so. Um, and then on the inside, like I said, I've been talking about teaching you how to winterize it. I know it's not a big deal for you guys yet, but if you guys are on the inside, I'll show you bypass valves and I'll be telling you to come out here and drain it. Okay. This is the drain plug. It's an inch and a 16th socket. And unfortunately, it's not just a drain plug. 
<laughs> you pull it out and it's what we call an anode rod. It's about nine inches long. It's a rod made out of magnesium and some other shit. Uh -huh. um, it's sacrificing itself in there so the tank doesn't corrode. So it's actually over time corroding uh -huh. as it's sitting in hot water to prevent the tank from. Right. Something you have to have in there. That means. How often do you have to replace so, it? So this is what a lot of people do. They just replace it once a year. Yeah. You know, they winter winterize in the winter. Next spring they put a new one in. They know for sure they got a full season out of a new one. Right. Or if you want to play the game, um, you got to check it every once in a while, obviously. And when you pull it out, like I said, it starts about nine inches long. And it looks like it's building calcium. It is not. It's dissipating. It's turning right. white and pot marked and falling off. Um, if you only have about three inches of meat left, that's when I say get you a new one. Okay. But the once a year thing works just fine. It's a universal part. You can call any camping place in the world. So you need a new anode rod. They're like 15, 20 bucks. So um, the once a year thing for me, that's easy enough. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, but that's all that. Power cord, this is your cord, okay? Okay. This just has a little turn in it. It has a little turn on it to lock it into place. This is a locking collar. Just screw it on to make it tight. Um, 30 amp service. Super important. I'm, I'm going to talk to you about power and water from a campground. Okay. That's not your shit. That's their shit. If their shit tears your shit up, you're shit out of luck. Right. Okay? <laughs> like, they're not going to pay for anything that happens. So, if you have a, a surge of power come through this cord, lightning strikes, something like that, and it ruins everything in your camper, you're out, not the campground. Buy you a surge protector. Okay. 30 amp surge protector. Um, I think, is that what this is? Her dad. If you guys are looking them up, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Her dad has uh, had given her one. I guess that's the one he gave her. That is a surge protector okay. 30 amp. Yes, so use it every time. Okay. So that way, uh, lightning strike, power surge comes through. It just hits that and stops. It right. does not come through and touch any of your stuff. Um, yeah, no, use it. It's. I'm a cheap ass, but the few the, the few things I recommend are like protect this thing. You know? Right. Um, so that's a good one. That's awesome. You already have one. You just saved 150 bucks or something. So that's awesome. Um, and then the opposite of that is the water that you're getting from the campground. So you're just going to hook a hose up, put it over their spigot, turn the spigot on. The pressure from the spigot now runs your system. Right. So you don't want that pressure. Most spigots are 100 pounds of pressure. You don't want that blowing all your fittings by a pressure regulator. Okay. That's a cheap one. It's like 15, 20 bucks, something like that. But you'll screw that onto the spigot, screw your hose to that. It'll keep your pressure. It's like 45, 50 PSI, so you're not okay. blowing, blowing any fittings or anything like that. But that's a super important one, too. Um, and then if you're bringing water with you, dry camp and anything like that, stick a hose in here, turn it on, fill up your reservoir. Okay. Your fresh water tank, basically. Now that when it's full, it'll just start spitting out, right? So it can, but the tank is also monitored on the monitor oh, okay. panel inside. So you can just go check it. But yeah, if it starts spitting out, you're full. <laughs> and the drain for it is this little cap here. And I am going to drain out what I have in there today. Okay. Okay. Um, just for weight reasons and all that. Um, what I'm going to do with this cap is put it right inside the water heater there. Okay. So if you ever start filling it, pours out, <laughs> look for the cap in there. <laughs> um, furnace exhaust. So I don't know much about California, never been, but I'm guessing California has some sort of bugs like we have here that'll build nests inside your furnace. Oh yeah. <laughs> By the screen that goes over this. It looks like okay. a, it looks like a little cage, but it's got a couple springs that'll hook here. That way bugs aren't building nests in there and shit like that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah no, they're the worst. <clears throat> you good? Yeah, I gotta answer my bass player real quick. She's asking if our drummer was coming. Gotcha. You're good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hood vent above your stove. So if anybody's burning dinner and it's smoking in there and you kick that on, you gotta come out and open it up. I just popped it open just now. Okay. Other than that, keep it closed so you ain't got bugs up in there. That's an easy one to forget, though. <laughs> I'll bet. Um, <laughs> That's pretty much the outside, Rob. You good? good? You want to jump inside? Yep. Right. Let me uh, stop this and start okay. again. Okay, now for the inside. Yeah, I'll let you head in first, Rob. Wow, that thing get, keeps it cool. Yes, yes. And I really haven't even had it on that long. That's the good thing about a small camper. Uh -huh. even, even if we're in the sun, they cool down fairly quickly. Now, is it the AC propane or nope, electric? That, that's electric. electric. It's 110, so that's only working if you're plugged into that 30-inch okay. service, okay? So no dry camping with that or anything. Right. All right, so let's start over here. Actually, let's kick it off so I'm not yelling at you. <laughs> it is loud. There we go. A little quieter. It's plenty cool. Okay, so we'll skip switches. Up here, these buttons are your monitor panel stuff. So okay. first one's battery. 
hit battery, it says fully charged. Anytime you're plugged into that 30 amp service, it should say fully charged. Okay. First few times you guys are plugging in, I always tell people come in and hit battery. If it says two thirds, you know right away there's something to miss out there. Right. You know, just Lapped easy. Up yeah, um, I've had people miss that there's a breaker by the plug in at the campground. Call me complaining about shit, and it's their fault they missed the breaker. So I've just told people, hey, just until you get used to it, you know, hit it a few times. That way you just know that you're good. Next one's freshwater tank. I got two thirds, but I will drain it out. Black and gray are going to be empty right now. I do fill those up and drain them just so you know. Oh. Um, so water pump. So the only time you're ever going to kick a water pump on is to draw water from that freshwater tank or pump an antifreeze to winterize. Okay. So, so if you're hooked into city water, that spigot is running the system. Don't kick your pump on. Right. Okay. Um, so right now, if I kick that on, we now have boom water. It's got pretty damn good pressure. No, too. no, the pumps work pretty darn well. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like the pump gives you a little more pressure than after you use your pressure regulator on city water. Oh, and that was nice and hot already. Your water heater's right under there, so oh, it doesn't nice. take any time, <laughs> any time at all to get there. Which, of course, the next switch over is that water heater switch. So, like I said, I would always, at least the first, first twenty times you're doing this, I'd kick it on and walk out there, just so you right. know, you know what's happening. You know, um, my big thing is to prevent people calling service departments saying my water heater didn't light, and then Justin always asks. Did it try three times and they have no clue? What good is that? You know, right. so I like to make sure people know what the what's kind of going on. Uh, light switches only controls this one. That's it. They call it your entry light. Okay. Okay. So everything else is push buttons. Everything. Oh, nice. Yep. So no switches in the bathroom, no nothing. Just your entry lights on that one. The second one over is the awning light there. Oh, okay. Okay. And then I do like to run everybody's awning a little bit so you see how slow they are. I don't want anyone calling in thinking it's broke because it's so slow. They're just fucking slow. <laughs> All right? <laughs> and don't let a storm roll up on you thinking it's going to zip in real fast. Cause, right. Because <laughs> you'll be shitting your pants. Yeah. Okay. So that's all that. Oh, Bluetooth speaker. I turned it on. I don't uh, connect to them or anything, so you can play around with it. Yeah. It's, it turned on. I see now at the last time I was up here looking at it for I was like, oh man, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. You know, and I've, I've hooked into them before. They're not the best Bluetooth speaker, <laughs> but hey, whatever. At least you get some music going. Right. Um, TV hookup stuff. Do you guys think you'll go with TV in oh, there yeah, or we'll anything? Okay. Put so, TV in. always, they actually does feel like they could have a backer in here. All right. If you're going to be mounting a TV, this is my recommendation. Um, most of us just go to Walmart to buy shit like this. So when you're at Walmart buying a TV mount or wherever you're going, spend an extra $10 and get what they call a single stud mount. Okay. So the mount will just be two or three holes instead of like the super cheap ones that have like these rails and shit. Yeah. You're going to miss everything if you get those. Single stud mount will definitely hit this backer. Okay. That's my big thing. And then TV hookup stuff is nothing crazy. Um, let's see, the bottom one is just uh, just TV, so like over the air channels. Right. So you have that antenna on there. This green light is actually an antenna booster. So if you guys are trying to get some of those over the air channels, green light definitely needs to be on. Even with it on, fucking good luck getting channels, <laughs> right. okay? I have to have the clearest sky in the world out here, and I get, like, two PBS channels, so... Shit, it, even with... I bought one of them antennas for my TV, uh, and I can get the new local... Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is that? The radio station? Oh, yeah. I can no, get their channels, and they all suck. I yeah, took the oh, antenna yeah. back. So, <laughs> so good luck with all that. We do mostly and then, streaming anyway. Exactly. I think here in a couple of years, they're just going to get rid of coax shit. Yeah. Like, just everybody's streaming anyway. The other spot is to the cable in, so if you're running... You know, right, for, for a cable system or a satellite or anything. So that's all those are. And then this guy, I, we all have hot spots and shit now. So don't even worry about thinking about right. buying that shit. You have to buy the contraption that goes up there. And then you buy like a monthly subscription mm -hmm. for Wi-Fi. It's like, we all got but phones. your phone has a hot spot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Super silly. Uh, LP gas carbon dioxide detector down here. So nothing crazy. Uh, cooktop. Oh, you do have fancy lights. Ooh. <laughs> Just turn this on, push them in, they they do the automatic fire up. So nice. Easy peasy. And if you guys needed to... I to get that on camera this part. Yeah, That's nice. just cool. <laughs> <laughs> then if you guys needed to clean under here, you made a mess or something, take those two screws out. Once those two screws are out, I just pull up right here. It just kind of pops up and you'll lift that whole top oh, off okay. there. Just in case. Uh, this is your furnace. So you remember the furnace exhaust yeah. is out there. Um, this is how you turn it on. 
you literally just slide it over. The farther over you go, the hotter it is. Okay. That's the only spot it comes out. So <laughs> it's super easy. Um, you know how to use microwaves, Rob. I'm worried yeah. about that. <laughs> Uh, to get this guy down, this table, these legs, I just call them wedge legs. Uh -huh. So the harder you push down, the harder they are to get off. So just give this table a good pop, and okay. it'll pop out of there. Maybe one leg comes with it, just wig <laughs> wiggle it out, and then it just sits on this edge, and you can bring these around, and I think it's a big big dog bed. That's what I think. Um, okay, refrigerator, 12-volt refrigerator. So we kind of hit on that a little bit outside. Right. This is purely just running off your battery. So dry camping-wise, yeah, it's running down your battery you know, at a fairly good rate. Mm -hmm. If you're plugged in though, these things are fucking great. They really are. So now you can travel down the road. Your truck is charging the battery. The battery's running this. You can utilize this thing safely. You know, the old ones you had to have on propane, which right. makes me nervous. So mm -hmm. this thing's super safe. They cool down in like half the time. So even if you didn't stock it full, as soon as you plug it in and turn this guy on, within 30 to 40 minutes, you feel this thing cool already, which is awesome. And they're fucking big. I don't know if you've ever seen the old ones. The old ones are oh, so yeah. tiny. So you can actually use this fridge, which is great. And that thing's actually really nice size. Yeah, no, it's, it's impressive. <laughs> it is. And if you ever want to turn the unit off, it does say hold the set button for 10 seconds. Okay. Or when you do your battery disconnect, obviously, I'll turn it off too. Right. So. <laughs> and use this if you got food in there. Um, breakers and fuses are down here. So anything 110 is on a breaker, just like at home. And then the bigger blade auto fuses is what these are. So always have on hand some 15s, a 30, and a 40, just in case. Yeah. Swing by one. Oh, and it's all labeled. And yeah, oh, yeah. They, they do pretty good with all that stuff. Yeah, she's going to be camping alone in this for a while, so I'm going to be getting, I'm gonna be setting her up with okay, a full good. Yeah, yeah. No, hook her up. Yeah, hook her up good. Kit that, that has everything she needs. That way she ain't got to worry about it. And you ain't got to worry about it. No. I'll show you that. That's for winterization. I got a panel okay. to go back on that. Um, bathroom, not a lot to show you in here. Pretty standard stuff. Main GFCI is in here. So if any plugs aren't working, that's always my first kind okay. of troubleshoot go to. Um, push button on your little exhaust fan. Nothing crazy. Got some extra storage and stuff. Um, I think Rob, <coughs> did you see how the bed worked and all that type of stuff? Uh, no, that's pretty obvious. Yeah, no, <laughs> it, this just scissors out and it and literally just lays down. Unhook and lay yeah. down. It is a fold mattress. There's like a third of it that folds up. So there's gotcha. like a seam in there. Um, I think if you're good. That was one of the things that made her pick this one was the Murphy bed. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> it's a great way to save space. No, uh -huh. I, I'm a fan. Some people are don't like it but i'm like hell these things are so little anyway you actually get to have a small camper and still kind of right. best of both worlds you know um let's talk real quick rob about how we winterize this thing okay. again i know you guys might not ever do this but well eventually she's going to end up here so, we'll, so we'll, yeah so we'll uh, have to let me throw it at you guys again you lose the video or whatever just jump on youtube yeah. there's videos mm -hmm. of all this shit um so i'll give you the breakdown your last camping trip make sure all your tanks are done that's an obvious <laughs> one. Then you can just take this home to winterize it. Oh. All you need to winterize this thing is two gallons of antifreeze. Okay, so it's like eight bucks. Like that's awesome. So then I got a panel off down here for the pump, and then a panel off over here for the water heater. We're actually gonna start over here. Sorry, okay. Rob. <clears throat> so after we got home, all the tanks are dumped. Our first step is always gonna be bypass the water heater because we do not want to pump antifreeze into that. So we have two valves here. It's hard to see the handles because they're pointed at the water heater. They are, they're the direction of flow. So when they're pointed at the water heater, I'm going cold in, hot out. You're gonna turn them both the opposite way, just like that. Okay. And now when the antifreeze pumps, it literally just skirts around this blue hose and never inside it, okay? So bypass water heater. Step two, take your ass outside and drain the water heater. Okay. That way you don't forget. Like it's easy to jump to another <laughs> step. I bypass, I immediately drain it. That way I don't forget. It just keeps me on track. While it's pouring out the water, those low point drains were right there also. It was a hot and cold line, two caps. Unscrew those caps, set them on the ground. Come inside, open all your hot and colds for five, six seconds each. Okay. You're relieving pressure in the system, letting water out. Um, do that, both sink, shower, flush your toilet for five seconds. Um, once you've done that, go back to the low points, put the caps back on. Then you're gonna come in this spot. And then you have one more valve right here. So that valve now is pointed at a hose going to the fresh water tank. You're gonna point it towards this hose, just like that. Pull the hose out. You're going to, I'm gonna see if I can get it on camera here. Where's the, there we go. You're gonna take this cap off and then stick this in the jug of antifreeze. Oh, okay. And then you just kick the pump on, run every spot until you see pink antifreeze. 
It's actually super simple. It's like 15 minutes of work. Actually, after you do it once, it's more like 10 minutes of work. Like it is so easy. But I'll turn that back to the fresh tank just so we don't forget. Is that a fuse or just nope, a nope, link? Just connections. Okay. No fancy little connections. Yeah. yeah. No, I love those things. <laughs> Um, but that's it. I mean, that's winterization. I mean, that's an easy one to do. Yeah, I mean, no, it is super simple. Like, beats, yep. beats the hell out of winterizing a boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, they, they have made it so simple for anybody, basically, to be able to do it. Um, and that's it. Oh, unwinterizing. Mm -hmm. So um, put your drain plug in the water heater, but leave it bypassed. Just hook your hose up to city water at home. Run every spot until you see clear water coming out. Once you see clear water everywhere, Unbypass the water heater. Point those valves towards the water heater. Once cold goes towards it, it starts filling up. Okay. I usually turn on my hot water, let it spit and fizz. Got full flow. You know you're good. Sweet. So that's that, man. And I think that's pretty much all the learning. Then, okay, so the main things we need to get her is... I know we need a hose for... Like the sewer drain, hose. the sewer yep. hoses yep. that have the someone said it has to have the clear things. You Does see, not have something. to have a clear thing. I don't know why people are obsessed with that. Do you want to see the shit? <laughs> right. I don't want to see the shit. I can hear my hearing still well enough. Yours might not be playing the band, <laughs> right. so maybe, maybe you do need a clear elbow. I don't know. I may have to see that. <laughs> yeah, for me, I don't want to see it, but people love the clear elbows for some reason. So we we got a few different options up there. Um, they do give you ten percent off today if you wanted to buy from us. But again, uh, you know, doing the Amazon shopping, you're probably yeah. just as good. But it, it's totally up to you if you wanted to swing in the store or whatever. Um, basically, Rob, from here, I think if you're good, I think we got. Yeah. I think we covered everything. I think that pretty much summed everything up. So from here, basically, I'm going to give you keys. You're going to sign three pieces of paper with me. Okay. One saying I did my job, and two are going to give you a warranty. So that's super important. Um, then I'll give you this en envelope. You can march over to Travis over there, uh -huh. and you finalize. You know, okay. make this thing yours. Um, once you've done that, you're kind of free to go, okay? Well, now I think she's, does it need my signature or hers? Because it's in her name and everything. I have no idea. Um, I, they uh, had sent 